happy Monday, folks. I am back for a dimps of Monday motivation. Now, <clears throat> a friend of mine once said, so often we teach or we coach the things we need to teach or coach ourselves. Um, and today that lesson is true. Uh, I've had a pretty crazy day uh, and a couple of really irritating things have happened to me. So my tip for you guys today is really just how you can deal with shitty people. Um, this will happen to you no matter what industry, where you are, at what stage you're in your business. Um, you'll have either customers or clients or partners or co-founders or just, you know, friends, whoever it is, just sometimes be really shitty and do annoying things, do inconsiderate things, do um, things that hurt your business, that hurt you. And it can get so demoralizing, angering, frustrating, you name that negative emotion and that's what it can sometimes call up. But what I have found has been a really good hack for myself is one, try as best as you can to leave that environment. You do not need to sit and fester in that sort of negative frustration and, and all of that sort of, um, yeah, that ball of, of negativity. Uh, leave the room, leave the office, leave the whatever it is, you know, the same physical space or whatever space it was that that person annoyed you in. Um, or if you were on the phone, just go for a walk, just change your environment. It can make a huge difference. It doesn't always work magic and sometimes you do <clears throat> end up changing your environment and it doesn't really take you out of that bunk. So the next tip is to try to do something that makes you smile. It could be to read a funny article. It could read to watch a silly to, uh, video on YouTube. It could do, uh, you know, talking to somebody who you, who you know generally cheers you up or lifts you up. Um, but do something to try to force yourself out of that, that funk and that negative mo uh, mood. Um, three is try to keep perspective. You know, not every issue, not every argument, not every little slight is worth just sitting and stewing and fuming over. And I know I do this a lot myself, um, but you know what? If a total stranger is rude to you or if somebody blows you off, just put it in its place. Keep the perspective that, you know what? That's on them. That's not on you. Which leads me to my next lesson is, you know what? When all else fails, uh, the two things that I do that always work is one, to sort of just get Penny right back, not to them directly, but get Penny right back and just think, you know what, either they were having a bad day or whatever that person did that was inconsiderate or rude or horrible, that's going to affect their life in the long term and for the negative probably more than it does yours. So just let it go. And then secondly, just do something to remind yourself of how um, how many great people you have in your life. So again, that could be making a phone call. It could be looking at photos. It could be, uh, you know, sort of reading an email that was really sweet or a testimonial from a customer who was really happy. Uh, but all of these little things can add up because there are so many micro frustrations that build up throughout the day and they can really, really start to get you down. And I kid you not, literally 20 minutes ago, I came into the house after two people had totally just blown me off and been so rude and disrespectful. Um, <clears throat> And I was screaming and fuming and shouting at my husband, or not at him, but to him. And then I was like, you know what, this is silly. I need to do something productive about it. This is not gonna help if I stay in this uh, frame of mind. So here are the tips. Here's what I've done. Uh, what I did in this instance to get out of it was one, to eat, because I also get more annoyed when I'm hangry. Uh, two was to remind myself um, about some really wonderful people that I'm working with, and I actually had a phone call with one just now. Um, and that did the trick. So you will always encounter shitty people, but you don't let it, them have to ruin your day, your week, your month, your year, or, or your business. Uh, hopefully that was a, a very practical Monday motivation for you. So next time, especially this week, if you encounter anyone shitty, here's how you can deal with it. Have a great, great day ahead, you guys, and a wonderful week. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.